Hey, today we're going to show you the Triple A X2. And I said that before you even asked me, so there we go. Anyway, awesome. it's a uh, it's a, a two AAA inspection light, and with it's a like, clicking switch. I, what can I inspect with? Well, you know, if you're an eye doctor like my brother-in-law, I'm sure he's going to check. You know, um, you can do a lot of stuff with an inspection light. It has uh, three modes: uh, medium, low, and then of course the high. And the medium is 45 lumens. The high is 385 lumens. The low is five lumens. Five lumens for 90 hours. Uh, medium uh, 45 lumens uh, for six hours and the high uh, point uh, so 1.65 hours at 385 lumens so uh, and it's got a pocket clip got a nice pocket clip so I'm supposed to put this in my shirt pocket you can put it in your shirt pocket you can put it in your pants pocket um, you know probably I can, you know, oh my goodness probably use that as a I don't know. use that tonight <clears throat> anyway so real nice uh, tail cap switch not real soft it's Got to give it a good, you know, you click it on, it's a nice clicky, and it comes on in medium, then we give it a light touch, goes to low. Ooh, I like low. And That's then nice. uh, you don't have to push it all the so way to get... So going to the movie theater, low is probably more yeah, than that. Yeah, low is going to be great for, you know, hey, you want to check Checking someone's eye. Checking seat, seeing what, uh, what's... Yeah, and then, hey, go to the high, and there's okay. the high. Awesome. And a uh, nice even beam. Well, just and now nice. it's not a, you know, it's not a, a giant, let's see. Yeah. No, this here. is an inspection light. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it's not, not going to throw a thousand feet or anything like that. So, okay. but uh, uh, great for a toolbox okay. or a, your pen pocket. Um, Do I have to be a doctor to buy one? You could play doctor, but uh, I wouldn't. I'm already doing that. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so type three anodized. Okay. And uh, so tell me about this quarter turn on the head and what happens then. The quarter turn on the head. Somebody was telling me like when you travel and you're afraid it's going to turn on. Oh, you can back it off like that, and then hey, it won't turn on. Oh. Hey, and that's kind of like, you know, hey, that's just basically just taking the circuit and taking it out of the circuit, which is nice if you're on a plane or something. You don't want this thing, something bumping into it good, and turning it on. ninja work. And then the, let's look at the reflector. So the reflector has an orange peel. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in okay. on that. Oh, you want me to zoom, zoom. Let me zoom, zoom. All the way in. And... There we go. There we go. The orange peel reflector. Now, what's the deal it's, with the orange peel so reflector? So it smooths out the beam. So it gives you a nice smooth... even even beam, less hot spots. <clears throat> okay. It's using a uh, um, it's a G two R five uh, by Cree. Okay. And this uses two triple A's, like you said. Two triple A's. And I can put rechargeables in it. I actually didn't have any rechargeables today. We like the antelopes. We are using energizers today, but I prefer to use antelopes. I think we've seen the energizers fail on us, haven't we? Yeah, we have. And a lot of these alkaline batteries, know how to, no matter how good they are, they seem to always leak, and they, that sucks. So I like using uh, alkal uh, the um, not uh, alkaline antelope. antelope rechargeables. They're just very forgiving, and they seem to have long-lasting um, storage capabilities. So if you charge them up, they seem to hold about 80% of their power for almost a year or so good and and so the, the the button on the tail end is that's a rubber material yeah rubber material it's a rubber uh it's a nice rubber textured kind of a stippled door. doesn't look like it's going to accidentally turn on no it takes some force to get it to turn on okay and uh by the way if you have you have our diffusers oh. uh the diffuser will work on here okay and they fit nicely here it is with the wow. diffuser. Okay. It's very cool. Um, it'll so also, it spreads the light out. Spreads the light. Yeah, if you dropped it on its lens, it'll probably protect it. Um, here it is. And then it, some people are actually putting them on the tail cap. Oh, so you can store it. You have can, it ready when you need yeah, it. Yeah, you could put it on the tail cap like that. Hey, I want to. You know, I want to turn on my light. There it is. It's I in still my. Still find my light too. It's in my toolbox. Yeah. So we have the. These silicon diffusers, they fit okay. many lights. So, so the silicon diffuser is not included, <clears throat> but available. They're on the website. Right They're on, on the our page. page. A lot of people already have them. So okay. if you have them and you want to use one of these lights, it fits our AAA model lights. Anyway, that is the AAA X2. Um, did I go along with the weight? Uh, How much does this thing weigh? Uh, it weighs 22.8 grams without the batteries. How, so, long, how long is it? Uh, it's five inches long overall and 0.58 inches in diameter. 0.58 inches. Okay. So it's yeah. truly a small little, you know, light. I can wear this, you know. Yeah, you put it in your shirt pocket. Shirt pocket and go into the movies. Yep. It makes a nice, uh, it does say NSN pending. I'm sure that's already in the so, skew. So the, this my, current production <clears throat> run has, has NSN pending? Yeah, you might get what already has an NSN. It depends on where, where they're, uh, uh, where they are in the, in the, in the system, process. In the process, so, right. Okay. So anyway, there it is. Uh, the Ameritech um, AAA X2.